Welcome back to Mental Math. Today, we're looking at a system with two equations involving real numbers x and y. The goal is to find n plus 1 over n, where n itself is expressed in terms of x and y. At first glance, this looks intimidating, but there's an elegant structure hiding beneath the surface that will make everything click into place. Let's tackle the first equation. We have a fraction here, and for it to make sense, the denominator x minus y can't be zero. So we're implicitly assuming x and y are distinct. The numerator is a difference of cubes. There's a standard factorization for this. a cubed minus b cubed factors as a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. Applying this to x cubed minus y cubed, why we get this factored form. Notice that x minus y appears in both the numerator and denominator. They cancel out, and we're left with something much cleaner. Now let's look at the second equation. Here, both terms share a common factor. Each term has an x and a y, so we can factor out xy, and that simplifies things nicely. So we've simplified both equations. Here's where things get interesting. Here's the first simplified equation. And the second, the key observation is that both equations involve the same fundamental pieces, x squared plus y squared, and x, y. Let's rearrange the first equation to highlight this structure. We'll group the x squared and y squared together. To clean this up, let's introduce a substitution. Define a to be x squared plus y squared, and define b to be xy. Now we substitute a and b into the first equation, and we get this beautifully simple relationship. a plus b equals 8. Doing the same for the second equation, we get ab equals 5. The problem has transformed into something much more manageable. Now, let's connect this back to what we're actually looking for, n plus 1 over n. Starting with the definition of n, to combine these fractions, we need a common denominator, which is xy. Multiply the first fraction by x over x, and the second by y over y. This gives us x squared over xy plus y squared over xy. Combining the numerators. And look at that. The numerator is exactly a, and the denominator is exactly b. So n is just a over b. Now we can rewrite what we're looking for, substituting a over b for n. The reciprocal of a over b is b over a, so we get this. The problem now reduces to evaluating this expression using what we know about a and b. We need to evaluate a over b plus b over a, finding a common denominator of a, b. This gives us a squared plus b squared over a, b. We already know the denominator. a, b is 5. So we just need to find a squared plus b squared. To find that, we'll use the other equation, a plus b equals 8. If we square both sides, we'll get the terms we're looking for. The square of a plus b equals 8 squared, which is 64. Expanding the left side, a squared plus 2, a b plus b squared. We know a b is 5, so we can substitute that in, giving us a squared plus 2 times 5 plus b squared equals 64. That's 10. To isolate a squared plus b squared, subtract 10 from both sides, moving the 10 over. And 64 minus 10 gives us 54. Now we have everything. 54 in the numerator, 5 in the denominator. And there's our answer. 54 over 5. What started as a complicated system became manageable once we recognized the underlying structure and introduced the right variables. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this problem, give it a like and subscribe for more. See you next time.